We have a Blink project and now we're ready to import media from the exercise files that we downloaded in an earlier video. It's very simple to do. Uh, the project pane in the bottom left hand corner, you notice that it says import media to start. That's because we have no media imported at all. And there's a bunch of ways to do it in Premiere, but one of the simplest ways is through the file menu at the very top and clicking on import. You'll notice to the right of the import, it lists a shortcut key, and that is Command-I, as in igloo. So clicking on import, you get the import window. And I'm going to click on the desktop from the navigation browser on the left to see any folders that I have on my desktop. And so since we downloaded the exercise files earlier, I have the ITV practice footage folder. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go into projects. And here we have our Greyhounds project folder. Now I could click on the Greyhounds folder and hit import, but what this will do is it will put the folder Greyhounds in here, and then it will import all of the other items inside of that. I'd, I'd rather not have that extra tier step folder for when I'm trying to navigate my media. So instead of importing the Greyhounds folder, I'm actually going to highlight all of the folders within it and import those. So there's a bunch of ways to do that, but one of the simplest ways is to put your mouse over a blank area in that folder section, and then left click and drag a box around all of the folders. You can either do that, or you can click once on the topmost folder, so B-roll, hold the shift key, and while holding the shift key, left click once on the very last folder, and then it will highlight all the folders in between. So now that I have all the folders highlighted, I'm going to click import. And then Premiere starts importing all of the media from the desktop into our project. There's a layered Photoshop graphic inside the exercise files, and Premiere wants to know how do you want to interact with that Photoshop file. The default is to merge all layers, which is fine for what we're going to do, but it, keep in mind if you wanted to animate the layer separately later on, you want to come to this pull down window and then do individual layers or even a sequence. But we're going to leave it on merge all layers and hit OK. And again, it's saying, oh, we found another Photoshop file in here. Go ahead and hit OK for that one. And that should be the only issues that we have. 